hello guys welcome back to my channel now i must say i don't like this look on kim i think that this is one of her worst looks by far but we're gonna talk about what is being alleged now guys we have heard from media outlets that kim allegedly does not want bianca sensory around and kim believes ye marrying bianca is throwing a wrench into the already difficult co-parenting situation now today based on sources close to the kardashian camp it has been alleged that the kardashians did not see ye picking up the pieces and getting his life together so quickly i think courtney did because honestly i think that courtney as always been paying attention to what Ye is doing and even when Ye did that Yeezy Gap, Courtney was there, you know, sneak sneakingly promoting Ye's Yeezy Gap. And when he did that Balenciaga mask, Courtney was a part of it. So I believe that Courtney saw Ye, you know, putting his life back together so quickly. So it's been said that the Kardashians are actually surprised to see Ye, you know, getting back on his feet so quickly. But they've always known that he's very much gifted and anything that he sets his mind to, he always gets it done. However, they're still concerned about the details of his marriage and, you know, the impact that he'll have on the kids. Now, I definitely understand because you know what? They don't know this girl. I definitely understand that people would normally, you know, be concerned with a woman, you know, who is practically a stranger being around Ye's kids. But because of what Kim did with Pete and the family weren't concerned about that, they should not be concerned about Bianca Sensori. Because if you guys remember, when Kim was with Pete, you know, on a Sunday, I can't forget, it was a Sunday like this, Kim called TMZ, hi TMZ, I'm gonna let you into Scott's gated community, and when you guys get here, North will be sitting in Pete's lap, and I want you guys to, you know, take a video for me, okay, and I want you guys to put it in the media, Pete and I are so happy together, the kids love Pete, they're so accepting of him, even my eldest daughter loves and adores him that I decide I'm going to put her in his lap. That's basically what I believe happened, right? Because Kim wanted, you know, Ye to spiral out of control. So if we did not read anything about the Kardashians' concerns, then they should not have any concerns now. I believe that they need to respect Bianca Sensori and give Bianca the same amount of respect that they gave to Pete Davidson, even though I believe that Chloe, you know, was definitely not appreciating Kim and Pete's relationship based on my observation from the last season of Keeping Up with the Kardashian, the last one that, you know, we saw that little clip of Kim asking Pete, do you want to take a shower with me, yada, yada. I believe that Chloe was definitely disgusted of Kim and Pete's relationship. I believe that the family wasn't really up to par with that relationship, but kept it quiet because they know that Kim is the queen. She owns the throne and anything that she says is basically law um, alongside Kris Jenner. So really it is, Truly given the sense that the Kardashian fears a lot more than just this woman, you know, being new to them. I believe that they're threatened that, providing that this is true, I believe that they're threatened that this woman, along with Ye, might be molding the kids in the way that they actually should be growing. And all the mess that Kim has done will be just taken away. The, she's scared the kids may have a new routine. She's scared that the kids may, you know, learn, you know, when to get to bed, not to be on the internet. I believe that Kim is mostly scared that Bianca 
is going to help here to strike that balance that he needs so that he can go back to creating a routine routine that he had with the kids like before while he was living with them because if you guys remember while he was living with kim based on what we heard he wanted the tv to be out of nord's room he did not believe that she should have you know a television in her room he believed that she should not you know have that amount of makeup skincare and stuff so i believe that you know there's just fear around this man this woman helping this man building and creating some kind of structure with the kids and i believe that kim is fearful that that structure may disrupt what she has presently going on in her house soul i believe that you know honestly kim is fearful as a mom that her kids are not going to be that attached to her because of this new woman that has come along because let's be honest the kids do have a second mommy and as time passes they're going to have a second dad because we know that Kim doesn't stay single for long and she's going to move on. And once she moves on, she's going to have the kids with that man in our faces in no time. That's if she hasn't conjured up a plan already to do that. So while I understand how she feels, you know, coming from a mom, she's definitely unfair and they, they just need to leave this woman alone. Just let her be, you know give her a chance how about that let's give her a chance even though you're being unfair why not just give her a chance to see what she does the impact that she has on the kids and then you can decide is she a bad person or is she a good person but it can never get worse than pete so i think that bianca is good and i want to hear from you guys because honestly listen while i think that pete might be funny to kids Listen, I don't find Pete to be even remotely funny. I find his jokes to be goofy, corny, but not funny. But kids may find him to be funny, right? So maybe the kids like him, but let's face it. Bianca cannot get any worse than what Pete was. Remember, Pete lost Saint in the mall. He had a man daughter sitting in his lap, which is highly inappropriate which everyone should know. TMZ knew it, it was inappropriate, but guess what? TMZ came, they took the video because they wanted that story, but then they trash Kim, came after that, and when Pete got that tattoo on his skin with the kids, TMZ trashed Pete again because they believed that it was inappropriate. So, listen, Kim needs to understand that Bianca cannot get any worse than Pete. And I think she just needs to be happy with that. But I want to hear from you guys again. Let me know what your thoughts are. And while you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up. Sure, if you care. Thanks for your time. Stay safe. Stay blessed. See you all next time. Bye, guys.